वेलकम टू एस्ट्रोबिक्स डॉट कॉम वेदिक एस्ट्रोलॉजी वेबकास्ट इन वेदिक एस्ट्रोलॉजी यू कैन रीच ए कंक्लूजन आफ्टर एनालाइजिंग एवरीथिंग इन डिटेल मेकिंग प्रोडिक्शन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ जस्ट वन परस्पेक्टिव कैन बी क्वाइट डेंजरस फॉर द नेटिव हेन्स यू शुड ऑलवेज कंसिडर ऑल द प्रिंसिपल्स एंड रूल्स ऑफ एस्ट्रोलॉजी बिफोर मेकिंग एनी प्रोडिक्शन सम ऑफ द थिंग्स दैट यू शुड ऑलवेज स्टडी इंक्लूड योगास दशा houses virga kundalis time of the incident transits and so on in this webcast we will try to estimate the expected time for certain incidents in your life in order to make sure that an incident occurs in your life certain yogas related to that incident need to be present in your janma kundali for example if you want to know about childbirth you will first have to check if yogas related to conception are present in the kundali if yogas are not present in your kundali there is no point in studying other details hence your jan kundali needs to have certain yogas related to an incident promising its occurrence once you have studied yogas in your jan kundali you will need to analyze dasha antar dasha during which the incident might occur when you know which dasha antar dasha will play an important role for the incident you need to analyze dual transit of jupiter and saturn the dual transit of jupiter and saturn is always present in a kundali for the occurrence of an incident without this transit nothing happens in your life saturn is also called kal the term kal means time hence saturn determines the time for every incident jupiter is also called jeev it validates the time determined by saturn for an incident saturn's transit is for 2.5 years and jupiter's is for 1 year and these two planets yield results according to the time frame of their transits so looking at saturn's transit and jupiter's transit will help you shorten the expected event's time frame to 1 year then mars's 45 day transit will further shorten it to 45 days if found sun has a 30 day transit and if found applicable will reduce the time frame to this period finally locate the moon's transit which is 2.5 days and you will have a pretty good estimate of when the incident might occur it is noticed that whenever something important happens in life most of the planets are transiting through the connected house in this slide we will talk about the varga kundalis house related to certain incidents in a janma kundali should always be studied in the varga kundalis Many times certain yogas are present in janma kundali but they are absent in the varga kundalis For instance if you want to know something about your business you should not satisfy yourself with an analysis of the 10th house you should also study dashmesh kundali in detail if yogas in your dashmesh kundali are not auspicious there may be some obstacles in your business activities moreover dashas in transits will also fail to give auspicious results There are many incidents which are promised by your Janma Kundali but they don't come out to be as expected. This is because your Varga Kundali does not agree with them. If yogas are present in your Janma Kundali but not in your Varga Kundali, there may be delays or obstacles. Let us now talk about Varsha Kundali. If there are indications of an incident occurring in a particular year, you should analyze the Varsha fall. you should check the state of the houses related to the incident and the results of the dasha antar dasha during that year you should check whether varshifal indicates or validates any claims of this incident actually occurring in that year if varshifal does not validate these claims there might be some delays the varsh kundali helps you analyze every incident in detail let us give you an example so that you can understand this better Let us assume that you are planning to get married. First of all, you need to check if yogas related to marriage are present in your Janma Kundali. The seventh house is associated with marriage. You will also need to check your Navamsh Kundali. Now you will study all those dashas and antar dashas which provide a high probability of your marriage. These dashas and antar dashas will also be analyzed in your Navamsh Kundali. Now. you will have to check if saturn or jupiter's dual transit is occurring over 7th house or over lord of 7th house if the answer is yes 
there is a high probability of you getting married. You will also have to check the association between the lords of the seventh house and the ascendant. Maximum planets in your Kundali should be aspecting seventh house or the lord of the seventh house to make your marriage possible. You have to be careful while determining Dasha and Dasha for marriage. Marriage is possible during Dasha of the lord of the seventh house, Dasha of the planet in the seventh house, Dasha of the second house or lord of the second house and the Dasha of the 5th house or Lord of the 5th house. You will be married during Dasha of planets aspecting 7th house or Lord of 7th house too. In the same way you will be married during Dasha of ascendant or Lord of ascendant and Dasha of 7th house or Lord of 7th house in the Navamsh Kundali. Thank you for watching this webcast. Visit astrobix.com for more free Vedic astrology content. You can also get your fortune report from astrobix.com.